Welcome back guys to another Sunday Fun Day Beer Review. Uh, Beaker has joined me, he was on the quack last night, he's still looking a bit quacked out. So uh, he's just going to sit here quietly and overlook my beer review. So what we got coming up now, not just, yeah, I'm getting him out of the picture there. What we're going to do now is not just a normal beer review, I'm actually doing a comparison video today. And it's a comparison of an original French lager and one of the cheaper supermarket branded versions of that same lager uh, both well the one beer we will know it we will all know it uh, and in the past I've been known to drink it myself so what we've got going head to head today is Cronenberg 1664 this was picked up in uh, well I'll, we'll ignore that a little bit first Cronen 16, Cronenberg 1664, we'll get there in the end. And from Aldi's, they're 1897. Where the hell they get their numbers from, I don't know. They must just pick them out of the air. But uh, this is basically their version, Aldi's version of the Cronenberg 1664. And you can't tell me that's not a complete borrow of branding. Uh, pick this up from Aldi's. Picked this up from Aldi's as well. This is why I'm doing both the things. I saw them both there, picked them up. This was £1.29 in a 660ml bottle, 5%. This is a 660ml bottle. This was £1.49, and this is coming in at 5%. So uh, apart from the price difference, they are identical. So uh, I don't own a Cronenberg glass or two of them. So I've picked up a glass that will probably... Uh, just about justifies this beer and we've got two Corona glasses freshly cleaned so what we'll do is we'll get these open and uh, pour them out and see what we get but I've left me bottle opener over there so I'll be back any second there we go typical cocker hope you're enjoying your Sunday anyway so let's start with uh, the Cronenberg like I said typical sort of branding it hasn't changed I don't think for me uh, nice little bottle cap there. So we'll get this beer out and see what we get. <clears throat> no comment. Uh, just from the bottle, it smelled a little bit sort of skunky for me. Not a particularly nice sort of uh, smell to it. Uh, sort of golden in colour. Quite well carbonated. A couple of fingers of compact white head. Still some left in the bottle. So we'll open the old uh, Brasserie 1897 and we'll see what this is like. I didn't smell it on the bottle, I will do in a minute, but I'm getting very similar smells actually from what I've smelled of that. It smells very similar. So, hmm, actually, actually smells a little bit nicer. It's not so got so much of that sort of skunky hoppy taste if you like depends on how you want to look, look at it really uh, so in a glass Cronenberg been sitting there a bit longer pretty much identical in color very identical sort of head but the Brasserie 1897 certainly has a bit more carbonation so looking identical we're going on the nose now Yeah, it's not got that sort of skunky smell that you had from the bottle. Not so much hoppy, a little bit spicy. I wouldn't say there's much else there, a little bit hoppy and spicy. Still got a tad of sort of that sort of skunky aroma to it, but not nowhere near as much. Again, a tad of the sort of skunkyish aroma not so sort of hoppy or spicy or as uh, Cronenberg definitely getting more malt in that as well <laughs> similar there are they are different but they are quite similar so we'll give them both a little top up and we'll dive in on the taste I've got to admit <laughs> It's not, it's not one of them comparisons, if I'm brutally honest, that I'm looking forward to. Hopefully they're both going to surprise me, but look at that. They're virtually identical. If somebody poured you 
the Audi's version over this, you'd be none the, none the wiser apart from the fact it's more carbonated. So uh, let's dive in with the original Cronenberg 1664, see what we get. Cheers. Very carbonated. Mm. Very carbonated. Nice breadiness on the back end. I do like a bit of breadiness to a, a beer. Quite malty. Malty, hoppy. Sort of that spiciness to it. And breadiness comes on the back end. A little bit of sweet breadiness. Uh, in all fairness, I can see why I used to drink that. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit run-of-the-mill stuff. But uh, I've had worse, if I'm totally honest. There's, there's worse sort of bigger brands out there. Or, you know, what should we say, premier brands out there. So uh, let's dive in with uh, the old Brasserie 1897. Bear with me for a second. Excuse me. Cheers. Body to me seems a bit thinner. A lot more carbonated, really carbonated. Not so much of that breadiness in there. Uh, a little bit of spiciness. Let's go in with the Cronenberg again. Yeah, a bit more hoppy breadiness I'm getting straight away. Much nicer mouthfeel because it's not so heavily carbonated. Yeah, it's a little bit carbonation. I find having a mouthful of that is a bit going down, quite aggressive on you. Uh, Straight away, I can tell you, there is only one winner for me. Only one winner for me. Winner for me. This is a little bit smoother, a little bit sweeter. This isn't so smooth, it's quite rough around the edges. Hasn't got that little bit of sweetness. So the winner for me, out of these two, is the Cronenberg over the 1897. And at 20p more, it's worth that extra 20p. Now, what I'm gonna quickly do now, is before we finish this, is would I pick this up? Actually, if I'm brutally honest, that isn't, uh, the worst lager I've drunk out of these premium brands. Uh, it's got a, a little bit about it that it's not great, don't get me wrong, it's not fantastic, but it's not so bad that you can't drink it. 5% drinking around that. That little smoother edge, sweetness and a bit more breadiness, probably just helps it out really that's what sort of keeps it going at worst premium brands how bad is this then uh, <laughs> what I will say is if you can't afford that extra 20p on a bigger bottle of beer or say on that bottle of beer because they're both the same size if you can't afford that 20p yeah I mean It's not undrinkable. Uh, there's going to be people out there that are quite happy drinking a bog standard sort of lager. It's not undrinkable. Uh, but really, for that extra 20p, leave the Brasserie 1897 and pick this one up. Respectable enough. Slightly below that. But I could see some people will drink it. So, uh, so yeah, that's it for this comparison video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. 
I've now got two pints of beer to get down me, one not so bad, and one not as good as that one that's not so bad. So uh, thanks for watching everyone, I hope you've enjoyed it, like I say, enjoy your Sunday, I'll be back again with another beer review, take care and I'll see you soon, cheers.